two-time Guinness World Record holder, and the guy that beat Cap Von D, and a couple others, at the Villains Art Show. Alright, so it is day three. <clears throat> We're not gonna probably be over here very long. We got a long drive back ahead of us. But got to go get an interview with Hollis, and I think my wife might be getting another small tattoo. Not sure. I guess we'll see how it goes. <sighs> what do you want to tell me? So I got a <laughs> tattoo this weekend, guys. Like Hollis knocked it out of the park on exactly what I wanted, and these judges picked a Dr. Pepper can with a rose coming out of it. Yeah, that thing wasn't that good. Anyways, y'all stay tuned and should be headed home soon. So what do you want to know? You got an eight inch <laughs> I do porn on the side. For $4.99, you can check out my OnlyFans. <laughs> no, for real. He's not kidding. <laughs> Y'all thought it was a joke, right? Until you see me doing it. <laughs> That's you can say whatever fire. you want. <laughs> and, you know, you're interviewing me, you tell me. Maybe we just a chance for you to introduce yourself, tell people what you're about, where you're from. Are we live? Yeah. All right, well, I've been tattooing for 20 years. I'm a two-time Guinness World Record holder. I'm the guy that beat Cap Von D and a couple others. At the Villains Art Show, I like to travel a lot and do uh, conventions to compete for awards and other things just to get notoriety and clout. I have a unique look because, you know, when you're in a sea of weirdos, you got to kind of stand out a little bit, and this f***ing really does it. Um, I don't know. I like doing all styles of tattooing. I like competing. Most of all, I like changing people's lives. Most of the time, you know, you, you get to do really cool tattoos, it could be helping her, it could be uh, somebody, it could be somebody that has a hard time with their kids, you know, somebody died or they need something from somebody, like a memorial piece, they need this to get through, and there's other ones that are just cool to look at. We've got a good light source, I want you to tap on it, and then I want you to grab that and slide it down to get rid of all your lights. So, we got an update. I guess we're not going back. There's some drama going on today. So, 
outside of that I'm not gonna get too deep into it because it's not really our business but we're fixing to meet up get grab some breakfast with Hollis and his buddy that's down here and from there I guess we're gonna be headed home so y'all stay tuned and show you where we eat kind of how much it cost also to check out wicked fast on Instagram best tattoo aftercare in the world this is what I'll be using for my tattoo that Hollis did um, to make it look all crisp and clean when it's all healed up so anyways y'all stay tuned hopefully we get to open your eyes to some more stuff but we've had a blast it's been a good time we're ready to go home though <clears throat> our hotel while it was nice the bed really was not that comfortable no, I'm ready to get home and sleep on my cloud. But, you know, for a hotel down here, down downtown, you know, it was a clean room. And uh, can't really complain other than just the bed not being super comfortable. But we'll catch y'all here in a little bit. Work with a new type of transition where you like, I can't snap. <laughs> what do you think? What'd you get? Oh, um... Y'all gotta check these out. I got me some chili mango chips, and these are the best freaking chip slices ever put out. Ever. I got a monster because I can't find a rock star. I used to drink the hell out of monster, but I, I don't know. After quitting drinking them, I, I can't hardly drink them anymore. I can't stand the taste. But, anyways, y'all have a good one. Yep, dude. That's a road rage incident. That was the same car that done made the block like twice. <clears throat> What's up, dude? over the top of our car. You know what he's about to do. How does this make you feel? It makes me feel like he instigated the whole scene and now I'm gonna walk out and there's gonna be bird poo all over my car. You hear that dude? Don't do it. I don't wanna get hit. Our goals for Southeast Asia. <clears throat> Want to be there so bad? We stopped at 7-Eleven. <laughs> yeah, so we'll be on the side of my car. It'd be the worst thing in life. So we're in a no-name little town on our way back home. How does this make you feel? Makes me feel like we're in a no-name town on our way back home. <clears throat> Miss a year ago.
think it turned out pretty good.